hey you there welcome back to my channel now i made a video talking about greenwashing where we said companies and brands are using this trick to trick you to buy their products or even services claiming that they are environmental friendly and so if you are an environmental conscious consumer then you end up buying from them whereas at the back end or behind the scene they are not they are nowhere close to being environmental friendly so then what are these environmental friendly uh, brands supposed to do or what can we say is a green business now let me define to you according to myself what i think a business that is environmental friendly should be putting in place or if you're thinking of starting a business and you want it to be environmental friendly the so-called green businesses sustainable businesses what should your business look like make sure to stick to the end so that you get all these points for free today consumers are more conscious of how you do your business so as an entrepreneur how have you set out your business how are you carrying out your business this is a this is a time where people have no have seen and are aware of environmental pollution environmental degradation and of course climate change so everybody is trying most of us are trying to do the right thing the little thing that we can do for our environment and of course this corrective action of everyone is what is going to help the planet so then as a business person you need to provide what the consumers are looking for because that is why you're in business you give us what we need and then we're going to buy from you so businesses that are green or businesses that are going green businesses that want to be sustainable are those businesses that are cutting their usage of the natural resources how are they interacting with the environment they take care of the environment as much as they are taking care of their profits and like i always say business of the environment this environment that i talk about in this space we are always talking about three p's and that is the planet we need to care of the planet so the business we do must take care of the planet and of course the profits we only go to the business every day wake up to serve people so that we can be able to make money so our businesses must be profitable right and that p is people because this world is made for people this world all the businesses you're doing you're doing them for people you're providing people with services and products that they need so these three things are very important in your life as a business person so going green means you take care of the people you're taking care of the planet as well as your profits you don't want to run out of business because you're taking care of the people in the planet all right so how can you shift your business to being more eco-friendly what should we look for or what are the two main points that you should be looking for when you want your business to be more friendly what would i as a consumer be looking for or be willing to know about your business and these are two one how do you make your products or services what materials do you use this includes the raw materials where do you source your raw materials what do you use you for your raw materials for example if you're making uh for example say you're doing makeup where are your makeup where is your makeup made? What is used to make your makeup? Is it by any way eco-friendly? What type of energy do you use? Are you using clean energy or do you just subscribe to the fossil fuel burning energy production? What type of energy do you use? And how do you use the energy? Do you conserve energy in any way? In any way? Have you installed technologies that could save the energy at your production area that is at the back end the other one is the water how are you using the water in your business if you require water some businesses will not require water in the process but if you're you having water for example coffee or tea processing will require water say for example how are you using 
the water. How are using the water resources that we have around? That is a point that the consumer will want to know. That is a point where you can conserve the environment and make your business green. Right? So make sure to conserve the environment. This makes your business sustainable and of course it's going to save on your on your cost implication in some way. The other one is how much emissions are you producing from your processes. So this is what is already happening inside the factory, inside the production process. How much emissions into the atmosphere, into the water, into the land, how much emissions are you producing? How friendly is these emissions to the environment? You also need to consider such things. For example, are you compliant to the environmental uh, regulations or permits that are there? Are you compliant? And one thing that we shall not forget is after you have produced your good and now it's on the shelf for us to buy or your service already packaged, it's time for us to buy. How much waste are you producing? Now this can be looked in on both sides during production and after production. What I mean is, how much waste do you produce as you're making the good? If you're doing makeup, if you're manufacturing and processing, producing makeup, how much waste do you produce in the process of packaging, processing, labeling, transporting, shipping? How much waste do you produce before it gets to me as a consumer? If it gets to me as a consumer, how much waste does it carry around? How much of that package do I have to get rid of? Because I cannot reuse, I cannot recycle, I cannot use it for any other purpose or function. It's not sustainable. How much of that? You get what I mean? So these are the two, two main areas that you can make your business friendly. Before it gets to the consum consumer, that is the production, and during consumption, as a consumer, I want a business, a product. If I purchase from you, I'm not going to have to deal with so much waste coming from the same product. I hope that is very clear. So that is what I, as a, an environmental conscious consumer, would be looking for. And that is how I can classify your brand as environmental friendly, as a green business. So I hope now you are a consumer or a business or an entrepreneur, pick your points, get to, get to what you need to do, pick things that you need to pick from this video and get them down on paper, make a plan and start implementing them in your business. If you are a consumer, pick these points and start checking out for brands that are at least doing something to add to the environment. I'm going to link videos that you might be interested in watching around here. You might be interested in watching this video or this video that I'm going to link up here. But before you leave, subscribe to my channel, hit on the subscription button, hit on the notification bell, like this video and share it with a friend or a fellow countryman. Till next time.